Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence and here is the seafood news for the week of January 13th, 2020. This week's episode, we're providing part two of our 2020 market-wide update with a focus on Pacific salmon. As we head into the new year, salmon prices are taking a downwards trend as plants are trying to get rid of their 2019 inventories. Demand for salmon has been sluggish since October, but is now beginning to pick up speed. The 2019 Alaska salmon fishery harvest was the eighth largest since 1975, with a total of 872.1 million pounds of fish. Alaskan salmon fishery was approximately 206.9 million fish with an estimated preliminary ex vessel value of approximately $657.6 million. For the 2019 Russian Pacific salmon fishery, it was one of the largest with almost 500,000 metric tons of fish harvested. While things were looking good for Alaska and Russia, the British Columbia Canada salmon fishery harvest for 2019 were essentially a bust. Let's start with a closer look at sockeye. In Alaska, sockeye salmon accounted for approximately 64% of the total value at $421.1 million US and 27% of the harvest at 55.2 million fish. Due to high demand, four to six pound Alaskan sockeye is starting to dry up, while smaller size two to four pound fillets are still highly abundant. Since 2019, sockeye prices have hovered between the mid $7 to low $8 range on once and twice frozen fish. These prices fluctuate depending on their catch area, but in general, H&G sockeye prices have softened a bit. Contact our team as we have some good options on four to six pound sockeye, as well as six to nine pound vacuum packed FOB Seattle. Moving on to pinks. In Alaska, 129 million fish were harvested this year. In Russia, 2019 preliminary catch totals so far have showed almost 330,000 metric tons of fish. Alaska, Alaskan pinks have been struggling to compete with their Russian counterparts as prices on Russian pinks are much lower. Currently, Russian pinks on average are going for 90 cents a pound compared to the Alaskan price of about $1.35 a pound US. We are hearing Russian boats are still having difficulty selling pinks, and we've been told by EU buyers that they are still sitting on inventories from last year, which is why demand is so weak. Pink salmon were the second most valuable species, representing 20% of the total X vessel value at $128.6 million. Predictions for the 2020 pink salmon catch for the Southeast Alaska region is for weaker numbers. Chum salmon, accounted for 10% of the value at $63.8 million and 9% of the harvest at 18.5 million fish. Our sources have told us that large-sized chums are becoming harder to come by. We are aware of multiple vendors that have held on to chums and hope to sell at high prices, but the market has softened and does not appear to have much potential to rise. Coho salmon contributed approximately 5% of the value at $29.6 million and 2% of the harvest at 3.8 million fish. Coho inventories are very light right now, which can be attributed to the demand for fresh fish during the season. Troll coho is starting to dry up, but we do have some options for troll FAS. However, this is for four to six pounds and smaller. Chinook salmon has had a rough year. The third lowest on record was just under 0.3 million fish and an estimated preliminary ex vessel value of $14.4 million. In Canada, the British Columbia Chinook fishery has taken a huge blow for 2019 and was a bust. Our recommendation is to contact us for your salmon needs. 
With the salmon market in its current state, there are deals to be had, and at TradeX Foods, we are wild salmon experts. So please don't hesitate to contact us directly for the best deals suited to your needs. Thank you for joining me for the TradeX Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence. Buy smart and eat more seafood.